Jim, I know a lot of our area is under a burn ban tonight. Yeah, and it's not just a danger, it's also a major challenge for farmers to tackle while hoping for the best. KXAN's Natalie Stoll has more, all new at 6. Here in Hayes County, the last good rain was in January. Now there's still moisture in the soil, it's just several inches deep. And the agriculture industry, though, is preparing for a longer dry spell. All right, here's our corn crop is planted right at the end of February. It's so far so good for J.P. Jansen's corn, even with below normal rainfall and moderate drought conditions. Here, you know, what's keeping the corn going is you get in there for four to six inches deep and we still have decent subsoil moisture, but it ought to carry it for another three weeks or so. While the corn is on its way, cotton has been put on hold. The soil's just too dry. We're in a waiting game. We kind of optimistic it's the best price we've had for years in cotton and if we can get it in by the hopefully by the first of may we ought to be all right several drenching thunderstorms would put cotton back on track but with la nina's influence and a drier than normal precipitation outlook through june from the climate prediction center rain doesn't look promising oh we try not to be a terrible terrible pessimist but i've kind of come to the realization is control what i can control and that means making sure his fields are ready for whenever he can plant. In the Wheatsville Co-op in central Austin, local produce is king. I mean, part of the reason we shop at a place like this is to try to to try to eat and shop seasonally. Kale, collards, and even strawberries, all from Texas farmers dealing with some degree of drought. But produce manager Adam King says he's not worried about skyrocketing prices. So I don't expect a major uh, effect. Um, local produce, local farmers are used to drought conditions here in central Texas. Um, they've developed ways to mitigate the loss uh, using water-wise agricultural practices. And for JP. Yeah, that's what lots of guys always want to get back to a normal cycle. I say we're in a normal cycle. We drive for two years and it seems like it's wet one year. There is still a potential for a good crop, especially if we see several more inches of rain this spring. In Hayes County, Natalie Stoll, KXAN, Austin News.